Hello friends, today's video is about acetazolamide and its synthesis. This drug belongs to the therapeutic category of diuretic agents and it belongs to the class of carbonic anhydrase inhibitors. This compound has this following structure. If you look at the structure, you will find there is presence of a five-membered heterocyclic ring containing a sulfur and two nitrogens at one, three and four position with respect to each other. Beside this, there is presence of two functional groups. The first one is the carboxylic acid amide and the second one is the sulfur amide. As you are all aware that the carboxylic acids are superior to the sulfonic acid, hence the carboxylic amide is superior over the sulfur amide. So we consider this in the IUPC nomenclature of this compound. So the basic moiety present over over here is the acetamide nucleus. On nitrogen of acetamide, there is a substituent group with a heterocyclic ring which is substituted for the on portion number 5. So the IUPC name of this compound will be on nitrogen it is 5 sulfamoyl 1 3 4 thiadiazole 2 il acetamide I hope that you will got I the name of this compound. Now synthesis of this compound a very unique synthetic method is there for synthesis of estragolamide which start with hydrazine hydrate which react with ammonium thiocyanate. The compound obtained initially is hydrazinium thiocyanate which in aqueous solution undergoes Wohler's rearrangement to give a thiourea derivative. In this case, it is a base thiourea which is called as 1,2 base thiocarbamoyl hydrazine. Here is a thioketo group, C double bond S. It undergoes the typical ketoenol tautomerism to give a isomer like this. Here you will find that the hydrogen on this nitrogen will move on to the sulfur. Hence the double bond will be formed between carbon and nitrogen and a mercaptor group is formed from sulfur and hydrogen. This is this tautomeric structure which on heating undergoes cyclization. From here you will find that the amino group and this SH group react to liberate ammonia molecule. Hence the cyclization takes place to liberate two amino, this is two amino, five macapto, one, three, four thiadiazole. Now this heterocyclic nucleus react with acetic anhydride where the amino group react with acetic anhydride to undergo typical nucleophilic acyl substitution reaction to give the corresponding acetamide derivative. This acetamide derivative on chlorination and oxidation results to convert the mercapto group into the corresponding sulfonyl chloride which further reacted with ammonia to give the corresponding 
acetazolamide compound so that is all about the complete profile of acetazolamide here is the complete detail about this compound have a snapshot don't forget to subscribe share it like it and yeah we are coming with the more videos on the medicinal substances thank you